Okay, after value stream is a chapter called distribution channel. Distribution channel. This is best explained through a little diagram I like to call the distribution channel diagram. Think about this is your everyday grocery store. Grocery. Put a little door on it. We got a person here going in. They're shopping. Here are the shopping carts out front. Whatever else you want to like to think about at grocery stores. Maybe there's some windows. All right, you get the idea. Grocery stores are a distribution channel for lots of different food. And they're a distribution channel because they distribute the products. They don't necessarily make the products. So over here is a factory which is making food. Apparently food is made in a factory. Or maybe there's a uh, farm over here. I don't know what the hell a farm looks like. This is your barn maybe. And here's your cow. This is a farm. So those places create the products. The grocery store distributes the products. And this is a transaction here. These people sell the product to this business and they collect money this way and product goes the other way. You can't read that, but I don't care. Money coming this way, product going this way. You as a consumer, that's you. You purchase it from the um, distribution channel. So here's you, you're the person, you go home with your grocery bag of food and the cycle is complete. Again, you give them money, you get the product here. Is there essentially a reseller? You probably could have figured this out just from like a five second explanation, but I felt like drawing this picture. Um, two things to think about here, maybe just one. This interaction here isn't the only way, obviously, to do it. You can sell directly to a consumer, and that's usually called a business to consumer or a B2C type of uh, transaction. And then over here is a B2B, and you can figure out what the heck that stands for. Business to business. There you go, I told you anyway. All right, distribution channels, that's what they are. Grocery stores aren't the only kind, they're resellers. They're online, they don't even necessarily need to be a brick and mortar. Um, yeah, they distribute products.